And I'm sorry if I'm not explaining as much as I am because then I, uh, I've been uh, talking in front of a computer for two hours and 30 minutes now, I think. And my voice is running out. And I'm dying here. It's pretty hot. But I really want to finish this today. Well, not the whole thing, but I want to finish the GUI today. And then tomorrow, finish the whole thing. Again, import scroll pane. Um, why is it giving me an error? Oh, sorry, not scroll pane, but let me just undo what I did. J scroll pane. All right. Now we've added it in the scroll panes. And we also need to, uh, we want to sh always show the, uh, we always want to show the, the scroll bars just because it's neater that way. At least I think so. Because it's going to resize. Uh, because if you don't if you don't set it to always show in the beginning if there's a if you're a, if you don't have enough files to make use of the scroll the scroll bar the scroll bar is not going to show meaning there's going to be this much this much less height in our GUI and there's going to be a lot more space in here and when you do reach a point in which your scroll bar appears it's going to take up space and it's going to push it's going to make it's going to push everything downwards so in the beginning this scroll bar is not here but at some point once you fill the table up to here this thing is going to I mean sorry this thing is going to appear and then the width of our application is going to increase. So we don't want that, we just don't want to deal with that. I mean we can resize it just like I'm doing when I'm clicking on the different tabs but you know I, I don't want to deal with that right now. So we're going to set that to uh, always show and we already did this. So SP book table dot set horizontal scroll bar policy j scroll pane horizontal always sp book table same thing except it's vertical copy paste set vertical Instead of horizontal, vertical. Copy, and then just paste it here. And instead of SP book table, it's going to be SP file table. Now we're going to add our widgets and. I'm not, I've already explained to you guys how to add widgets uh, using using uh, horizontal boxes, adding those horizontal boxes inside your vertical box and then adding the vertical box inside your panel. So I'm not even going to talk during this part. Just uh, follow along with me.
Um, you know what, guys? I don't want to waste time, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste whatever I have already in my finished code. Because what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding it to the component step by step. So just pause the video or something and just copy this. Well, for my classmates, you guys already have the source code. Or I don't no, I don't think I'm going to No, I don't think I'm going to give you guys the source code yet. I'm going to wait until I finish the tutorials. Simply because I haven't finished the whole code. I just finished the GUI. But uh yeah, just copy whatever's on the screen, pause the video and All right. At this point, I can assume that you guys are done just copying this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our library interface, which is in our view. Open that up. And we're going to put our panel inside our frame now. So private, we called it browse library panel. BLP. P equals new browse library panel. Okay, and now let's go on to our controller library system. And no, no, yeah, no. Actually, before we do anything else, I want you guys to run your application. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry, go back to uh, library interface. We still need to add the tab, so jtv.addTab. So we need to add the panel to the tab. And we're going to call this browse library. Let's take in the panel. Now, run the application and you should see something like this